Brian Laundry latest, parents grieving as human remains, notebook and backpack found in hunt for Gabby Petito fugitive. Brian Laundry's parents are grieving after the FBI confirmed human remains were found on Wednesday near a backpack and notebook that belonged to Gabby Petito's fugitive fiancé. Chris and Roberta Laundry were present when the shocking discovery was made in the Carlton Reserve where they say he went for a hike on September 13, the last day they saw him. Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry in a TikTok video from their doomed cross-country trip credit, YouTube slash Nomadic Stake. A white tent was erected at the scene where Brian's belongings were found credit, WFLA. FBI Special Agent Michael McPherson delivering an update on the Brian Laundry case on Wednesday credit, WFLA. A map of where human remains were found in the search for Brian Laundry today. The couple's attorneys Steve and Bertolino revealed they are grieving and they're not going to make any comment until the remains have been officially identified, according to WABC Channel 7's Kristen Thorne, who spoke with the lawyer. At a press conference on Wednesday afternoon, the FBI confirmed the remains were found in an area that was submerged earlier in the search. Special Agent Michael McPherson said investigators found what appears to be human remains, along with personal items, such as a backpack and notebook belonging to Brian Laundry. He added that the reserve will remain closed as the investigation continues and urged the public for patience. Teams are expected to remain on the ground for several days and a no-fly zone has been put in place over the area. FBI agents did not answer questions and were met with a chant of justice for Gabby as the press briefing ended. I know you have a lot of questions but we don't have all the answers yet, McPherson said. The Carlton Reserve is linked to the Meowkahatchee Creek Environmental Park where Chris and Roberta Laundry searched for their son this morning. Chris and Roberta Laundry were at the reserve earlier today when human remains and some of Brian's possessions were located in an area where they had initially advised law enforcement that Brian may be, Bertolino said in a statement. Chris and Roberta will wait for the forensic identification of the human remains before making any additional comments. The medical examiner was called in on Wednesday morning after the fugitive's parents reportedly discovered a white bag and a dark-colored object in a patch of brambles. Footage also showed vehicles with government tags arriving at the scene. The FBI later confirmed that items of interest were found, adding that their evidence response team is processing the scene. Laundry's parents joined the search at the creek on Wednesday, as it was closed again just one day after being reopened to the public. In video footage captured by Fox News, Roberta and Chris are seen speaking with a police officer on a hiking trail in Myakahachi Creek. While much of the conversation is inaudible, the officer at one stage seems to tell them we've found something and advises the pair to go home. The officer places his hand on Chris Laundry's shoulder during the exchange. Roberta then turns to face him and wipes his cheek. Bertolino said earlier in a statement, Chris and Roberta Laundry went to the Meowkahatchee Creek Environmental Park this morning to search for Brian. The FBI and NPPD were informed last night of Brian's parents' intentions and they met Chris and Roberta there this morning after a brief search off a trail that Brian frequented some articles belonging to Brian were found. As of now law enforcement is conducting a more thorough investigation of that area, he said. Two white tents were later seen erected in the park after the coroner was called out in a large white van. A human remains detection team was also at the scene. Laundry and Gabby were roughly two months into a four-month adventure when he returned to his Florida home with her van on September 1st. The vehicle was found parked outside Laundry's parents' home, where he and Petito had lived for the past two years. Laundry was later reported missing by his family on September 13th after allegedly telling them that he was going to take a hike in the Carlton Reserve. Laundry's parents said that they drove his car home from a Florida wildlife reserve after he failed to return from a hike. Yet they did not report him missing for another two days. Laundry's parents reportedly told police they realized Brian hadn't come back from his hike on Wednesday or Thursday, and that's when they went to pick up the Mustang and drove it back to their home. Laundry's parents remained at their Florida home as of Tuesday afternoon. Gabby's killer, who has not been named, is now listed among the FBI's most wanted as the agency hunts for information on the young woman's final movements. Laundry has only been named as a person of interest but not a suspect. They narrow down her final days to between August 27th and August 30th as they call on the public to contact them if they saw her during this time near the Spread Creek dispersed camping area in Wyoming. 
Teton County Coroner Dr. Brent Blue confirmed that Gabby Petito died by strangulation during a press conference last week. He added that Gabby's predicted death was three to four weeks before her body was found on September 19th. The body was outside in the wilderness for this time. The doctor also confirmed that Gabby Petito was not pregnant at the time of her death and that a toxicology report was unable to be released at this time. Following the results of the autopsy, Brian Laundrie's family attorney, Steve Bertolino, released a statement saying, Gabby Petito's death at such a young age is a tragedy. While Brian Laundrie is currently charged with the unauthorized use of a debit card belonging to Gabby, Brian is only considered a person of interest in relation to Gabby Petito's demise. At this time Brian is still missing and when he is located we will address the pending fraud charge against him. The FBI has issued an arrest warrant for Laundrie on September 24th for reportedly spending $1,000 on Gabby's bank card after the last day she was seen alive. Cadaver dogs were also at the scene credit, WFLA. Cadaver smelling canine and police swarm Florida reserve to hunt for Brian Laundrie.